Hey guys, SportsFan1100 here, part of SportsFan1100.tk, and yes, you were looking at my new website layout. Um, I just got into Dreamweaver and decided to make a new uh, website. Sorry about the changes, but um, because you guys are just getting used to my other account, I just needed to make a new website. My other one was not getting any feed at all. I mean, I'm a little feed. It's getting more feed than my other websites by far. But this one's way more professional. It has all of my videos up here. If you go to my videos tab, every one of my videos will be up here. Okay, and um, I, for you guys that don't know, I made a new blog. So if you just, all you have to do is click on the tab and it'll go straight to my blog. Um, my forum, it'll go straight to my forum. Everything works. So, um, it, it's a really great site. Um, and if you have any questions that I don't ask, you can always also go to the uh, contact site or contact section, which is having some problems, but I'll get it to work. So, yeah, let's get into the tutorial today. Um, today will just be a uh, basic Dreamweaver tutorial. I decided to, uh, really, because I'm really getting into Dreamweaver, I decided to make a cool tutorial on Dreamweaver. And, yes, yeah, so let's get started. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, add basic H HTML and also link pages so you can go to different pages on your tabs now first of all you need to download your own um, template you can go to like free CSS templates which is a great site to go to um, they have fun uh, tons of free ones I got this one somewhere like on Google just typing in like free CSS templates um and, you know just find one that's free or you can pay one I mean it's up to you but once you have your own you're gonna open it up you're gonna use index um, I'm not going to go really go into that, but if you don't know, you can just always search it on YouTube. I'm going to make a tutorial on how to make a free website, like, all in Dreamweaver, real soon. I also have that up on my other account, G, G R E E N G nine good green G9. You can go check those videos out, too. So, yeah, you know. Um, but, yeah, let's get started. So, let's say we wanted, I don't know, some HTML. Let's go to, like, contact, because I had, I had some right here, so... So maybe I want like this. Oops, sorry. I wanted that. Um. Yeah. So what I would do is um just go to the page that I wanted to add the custom HTML, find where I wanted to put it, and then find the tabs up here, and select code here the uh, selector or the mouse cursor or whatever will already be here so you can just paste whatever you want in and right there it'll automatically be there just hit Control s for quick save or file save and it'll be there um and that's really easy on to the next part linking pages is actually really easy to do it all you have to do is first of all make pa uh, make a few pages um, let's say I wanted to make a videos page. All I would do is go to file, make sure everything's saved, of course. File, save as, and type in your page name, the next page that you want to be linked to, and type in the page name, and then .html. Once that's done, you're going to get a new tab up here, whatever you named it, .html, where you can edit, and everything will look different. Just look at a different page. Now, once you've done editing um, with that other page, you can go back to index, and what you do is you highlight the part that you want to uh, link to, right click and find change link. Here you can um, ch uh, double click on the one that, um, that you want to change. So I, you would do videos because that's the one that we're going to change to. But you know, you can also go to the link at the bottom and type in videos.html or you can um, type in any link. That's what I did for blog and forums. So you can type in a website or anything. It all works. And they'll all be auto save, so you can just check there too. And you can do that with all your pages. And make sure you do that with all your pages if you're making a website, so you can go back and forth. If there's sound in the background, just ignore that. That's my family. Okay, so yeah, you can go check that out. Um, and I hope this tutorial helped. My next tutorial will be on another Dreamweaver tutorial. And I'll, um, if you go look on my blog, you'll have you'll see some um, cool tutorials. Um, you can also post comments. So like, go to maybe like this one. You go to it, and you can post a comment there. Okay, leave a reply and leave your name and everything so you can also do that or you can subscribe to this and you can look at all my latest posts and everything so it's a nice blog you know you can go check that out it's a really cool blog um so i'm i just kind of like quit the um 
dot or web starts so I just went to this and the website is called sportsfan 100tk it'll be dot net real soon once I get the money of course so thanks for watching guys this quick tutorial and I'll see you later bye guys